In this lesson, we will break down one point perspective and how it relates to interior sketching. Before we dive into one point perspective, let's take a moment to discuss some definitions. The first one is horizon line, which represents the horizontal line that runs across a scene. And as my image shows, the line helps divide the sky from the ground and it represents the viewer's eye level, which is important in interior design and sketching as that's going to help you establish how things are laid out, especially on the wall. A great way to think about it is you would want a picture or artwork to be at eye level. And so this line is gonna be very helpful when we're sketching out our spaces. The next one is the vanishing point. This is going to be the point in which all lines connect. A very common example of a vanishing point is a highway. The edges of the road converge at one point, which is the vanishing point. So what is one point perspective? So one point perspective in interior sketching is used when you're looking straight ahead at a flat wall that has no angle to it. In this example, you have a flat wall and all the lines of the room converge to a single vantage point. Now, you may be asking yourself, what if the room was at an angle? That would actually make it a two-point perspective. In this image, none of the walls are flat. You're instead facing a corner and the lines from the wall will actually have two separate vanishing points. To recap, a great way to remember the differences between one-point perspective and two-point perspective is that when you're looking straight at a flat wall, you have one-point perspective. And if you're looking at a corner, then you have two-point perspective. <laughs> 